I really like YouTube for one big reason. Even if the smallest to the biggest configuration, everything can coexist on YouTube. Hey there everyone, my name is Atesh, and in this video, I'll walk you through that how you can set up your domain name with a VPS. I know it's a really, really basic for a person who is experienced, but there are people. There are people who are still worried about how to do it, so I'll walk you through. Although I cannot just walk you through with each and every domain name provider, but I'll be providing you the details about the GoDaddy. But the details are exactly the same. If you have got Namecheap, GoDaddy, whatever the service you are using, it doesn't really matter. The options are exactly the same. The places where you have to go will name exactly the same, will sound exactly the same. And we can just go ahead and try this out. So the whole idea is that we have enough uh, of the details about the IP addresses. We have uh, written the IP addresses on the URL bar, which is not really friendly. Most of the time we want to write just the uh, websites like chaiko.com there. So how we can actually configure that, that's exactly this video. Not going to be long, but we'll walk you through and help some of those people who really, really need this information. So we'll keep the comment target, just 50. Just go ahead, put that in the comment section that yes, even the minutest of the smallest detail were covered in this uh, playlist. So I'll just go up here. Uh, this is my GoDaddy account and uh, probably will need to uh, hide some of the details or something uh, from in this video. I'll try that to actually hide all these details and all these things in here. All you got to do here is once you are in the domain, I have a lot of domains going up there. Uh, just go ahead and click on the DNS. This is the part where you want to go. Inside the DNS, you will find a lots of record of the DNS and especially you can see A record, NS record and whatnot. Now, in case you are creating a subdomain, that means you can just go ahead and click and add a record and can say that, hey, I want to choose an A record or C name, whatever that is, I'll walk you through with that. Just add up your subdomain. Probably you are adding, let's just say docs.dailystreak.com. So in that, just add the value. This is your IP address and that's it. In my case, this is not the case. I'm not adding a subdomain. I'm adding a real domain. So from where the IP address needs to go, this is the IP address. So you can just go ahead and grab your IP address just from there and I can just paste my IP address here and can just shorten down the TTL, half hour is good enough. Now this is going to make my value of the docs and already the domain name is going to be there. I don't want to do that. What I want to do is uh, just cancel this. I want to change this first A record. The moment you change the first A record, that means you are pointing your domain and are, you are connecting your IP address along with that. This is the first thing that you will do. So this old domain, dailystreak.app, we are going to go ahead and modify this one. So this A record, you'll find that in every single place. I'll go ahead and edit this out and make sure it's an A record, not a triple A, not the C name, just one single A. That's what we want. And this needs to be at the rate. Uh, this is probably going to be autofill, but if it is not there, just put the name as A uh, at the rate here. Now in the value, we don't want the part. We want actually this domain to be there. Uh, TTL, custom TTL is 600 second is good enough. I'll just go ahead and save this. Hopefully it will allow me to save and this is updating the DNS record. And hopefully it should be done. So now that's it, told you it's really, really simple. Now I can go ahead and look for some of the tools uh, which says DNS propagation. And yep, this is the one which I use quite a lot. And I can just come back and see that this IP address is properly resolved or not. And if it is resolved, where it is and just go ahead paste your IP address, paste your domain and then check for the A record or in case you are updating any other record, just go ahead and select that record. I'll just hit the search and you can see in a lot of location this is being updated. In fact, it is updated in all of the location. So now technically what I can do is I can go on to this and can access the same detail up here. But the problem is uh, this is a special domain, .app or special domain. So they really don't work on HTTP. Uh, so in the next video, we'll learn how to do and propagate an SSL certificate as well. But probably, yeah, it's automatically redirected to the HTTPS, as you can see in the top. Uh, the domain is supposed to work on only HTTP because that's where my server is listening. Nginx is listening. There is no SSL certificate. That's why it's creating a problem. So yes, we will solve that problem. There is no big deal. But this is the whole idea of how you actually put up your domain. Now, these .app domain are really, really special. So that's why they only work on HTTPS and not on the HTTP. But other domains like .com, .in, .co, they all work on dot on port 80 as well and port 443 as well. That means HTTP and HTTPS as well. But you got the point. You got the point that how to do this. Pretty simple, pretty basic stuff. Nothing much to be worried. Yeah, just go ahead, grab your IP address, put up a record, put up on the domain, 
buy a domain and that's it. So really simple guide on how to set up a custom domain on a, on a VPS, pretty simple. Let's go into the next video and learn how we can actually configure our SSL. Now that everything is matched, uh, we need to install a cert bot so that we can configure free SSL certificates on our application on the Nginx so that our application can start working with that. We will also learn how we can deploy uh, some of the fun applications as well. Let's go ahead and catch up in the next video.